In the last video, I showed you how to make fire and smoke in Blender using a script. So now I'll explain how it actually works. So as usual, you need to import BPY, Blender Python module. And here I, I made a variable to keep the name of the original object because you'll need it later. I commented out this line. What it does is it's, it smooths the object. You can commit, you can uh, use it if you like, but it's not necessary. These three lines here happen when you press space and you choose quick smoke. So it generates smoke, but making fire in and smoke is a bit harder. So here, what it does, this line here sets the domain to smoke, adap smoke adaptive. Uh, the only thing it does is it's a bit faster to generate. Um, these three lines here. I want to make the domain a bit bigger but because I think it's always a little too small. This here you see I, I, I use original object because it's actually an original object that, that it happens. And I changed the flow type to, sm uh, to both which is fire and smoke. Okay, um, Then I changed the render engine to cycles. You see it's cycles here. And fire and smoke is both, as you can see, you have fire, smoke, outflow, and fire and smoke, both. Okay, <clears throat> so you see, I, I, I have some comments here. Save time with variable names. Instead of always writing this here, I simply write mat. And I do it all the time, like volume scatter, volume apps, you see. So you need to change uh, the material to to use nodes so if I select the domain then I go to compositing as you can see I have nodes here and by default it comes with other nodes that I don't want so what I do is I delete every node but this one and as you can see there's a loop here and it, it, it deletes every node except material output and the way it, it works is you choose remove and then the node and k is uh, the name of the the node okay so later I want x and y is uh, the location of, of material output because it's it can move it's x and y and everything appears on the left based on x and y so how I create other nodes is like this. I like to have a name so I can easily use it later. Your material dot node tree dot nodes dot new, and you have to know how the how it's called in Blender. So it's always the same thing. Node at shader, node emission. This one is a bit special. It's a cutter ramp. Okay. There's the documentation about that if you want to create other nodes. Uh, and then I change the location like this simple location equals X Y uh, I, so I get them in the place they are now then I need to create links uh, the way links work is you need to make links that new and this is always output and input so you can either use uh, input by name and output by name like shader to volume like here I have at shader 2 because I have two at shaders I call this one at shader 1 this one at shader 2 let's say shader and volume so as you can see at shader the output shader and the other argument is the input material output that inputs volume but you get some problems when you have two inputs or outputs that have the same name like here you have shader twice but you can instead use use indexes like this one is zero this one is one so instead I, in that case I used like I, I said output emission output emission to add shader to input one, one so what it does is I take emission here and I connect it to a shader and the others I simply use them by number instead because I think it's faster this way you don't need to know how every output is named. 
then I changed attribute names here density is the density of smoke and this one is for flames just like density but for the flame and, I, and then I changed the colors of the color ramp this one is a bit particular by default the color ramp comes with with black and white here on both sides and this one is basically zero and this one is one so uh, now that I have all, all my uh, cursors here this one is zero one two three four uh, but at first since I had only two I could I could say element one which in that case was this this one becomes uh, its color become one 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 zero point seventy five this is uh, red green blue and alpha and if you look at it here you have one 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 zero point seventy five and then you need to add another another element uh, so you create element.new and this is the position it goes from 0 to 1 in that case it's 0 0.75 and it's that one you see position 0.75 and then the colors here as you can see it's the same as you get here uh, and the element is still 1 because when I create it it, happens, it appears here and this one becomes 2 and when I create another one here at 0 0.5 so it becomes one, two, and this one, two and three. It's, it's like um, an array, if you like. And then I change the contrast here, brightness contrast, and and input number two. You see, it's uh, zero, one, two, and input number two equals five. Basically means contrast equals five. So if you need to make, oops, <laughs> no what I did here. If you want to create nodes, uh, it's always uh, the same method, but you need to know how this part is called for every kind of shader or node. So I hope it was helpful. So see ya.